One saying that floats around in the stock market is that if you've got a hunch on something, you should go for it guys, follow your instinct. Other investors might say assess the situation before you then go for it. And even some might say, be a lone wolf and think for yourself. I'm very much like the latter type of investor rather than the former. But some people can argue the point that you sometimes have to go forward, grind you forward with that gut feeling. Yeah, my only thing is when those times come, I like to do it with. Good eye open. This debate that normally goes on in every investor's head typically surrounds speculative stocks, guys. So I'll be doing you guys a disservice if I didn't sprinkle some of that DS knowledge on top of this topic. You'll be shocked with what I've got to say. Trust me. You, you know, know what you're watching. And ultimately is that I think that you should have some sort of speculative stock in your portfolio. Now I know you guys are baffled by this, right? Because let's be real here, guys. We all know that speculative stocks have a big stigma around them. They're notorious for being a roller coaster ride. Yeah, where you finish off or much worse than when you started. We all know that. Cool. But is that really down to the speculative stock? Or is it down to the investor that chose to enter slash exit those stocks? Okay, I can't even lie, guys. A good portion is actually due to the speculative stock. But you get what I'm trying to say, right? Some way down there in that narrow pinch of a hole. Yeah, you get what I'm trying to say. So there are some speculative stocks out there that can be very successful investments. But it's like everything in life, guys. Too much of one thing can be really detrimental for you. But the right amount of that same one thing can enable you to do what you're looking to do. And this is why I actually encourage, to some degree, keep up some degree investing in speculative stocks. And it's because it offers your portfolio a good balance. And ultimately, it bottles down to you still having standards, even with those speculative stocks. So in no particular order, guys, these are the things I would say you should watch out for. One, this doesn't mean just invest in a uh, penny stock that you know nothing about. Two, I don't mean that you should just invest in stocks that everyone else follows in. No, find the reason yourself, guys. Three, make sure to do the research. Yes, we all know that speculative stocks have a high ceiling, guys, but a lot of that high potential profit comes with high potential risk as well. So you guys need to make sure that you're fulfilling a certain standard, a certain criteria that even those speculative stocks have to meet. Because let's be real, the financial documents and the business plans, they tend to, to be of a lower standard way compared to, compared to the rest of the market with speculative stocks in particular. So you guys really need to make sure you do enough research to cover yourselves when you're making that investment. Four, don't invest large amounts in the speculative stock. This should only be a very, very, very small fraction of your whole portfolio, yeah? Only a small fraction should go to speculative stocks. Not that much. This is important, guys. And finally, five, if you missed any of the other points, then go straight back to them, okay? In truth, you guys need to be extra vigilant and cautious when it comes to speculative stocks, just because of how volatile and illiquid they can be. One thing I will say about speculative stocks though, is that if you get a winner, guys, it can literally be like finding a gold mine. Hold on to that stock for dear life and do not let go, guys. And it's all because you're buying that stock for the minimal price and you're over time selling it for the maximum possible price. Hmm, this sounds familiar. I know what this is. The D. Oh yeah, it's every investor's dream stock, guys. <laughs> you guys know, buy low, sell high. That is the perfect stock to invest in. And if you're that lucky person, that Willy Wonka ticket winner, if you, that guy, make sure you holler at your boy in the, at this video. Yeah, because I, I actually helped you there. Mm -hmm. Now give me a cup, please. But anyway, yeah, back on topic, guys. So I've told you guys why I'm looking for a speculative stock. I've told you guys what not to look for in a speculative stock. So now I'm going to tell you guys what I look for in a speculative stock. And it's very simple, guys. I look for a speculative stock that has a realistic growth. Oh. See, can you feel the, 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 the lightness, the grace of just saying that? feel it you guys feel it too simple but effective 
So being able to see the vision, but more importantly, guys, that vision being achievable and worthwhile is the speculative stock that I look for. And it's because one thing that speculative stocks have all in common is that they're all at the early stages of their company life. So by that, I mean they haven't grown yet. They've still got so much potential to grow. So what are they looking to do? They're looking to grow. How likely are they looking to grow? Some will be very unrealistic. Some will be really unrealistic. Can you see that vision? Can you see that growth happening? And is that growth worthwhile? How long would it take? Those sort of things. That's particularly what I look for in my speculative stock. And guess what gives me a better idea in answering this question, guys? The financial and business plans that the stock releases. Those things should give you a lot more information that you guys will need to answer that question better. So you know what that means though, guys? More reading. Yay! But it has to be done. All in all, that's what I look for in a speculative stock. One, it's going to be a small fraction of my portfolio. And two, it must have loads of room for realistic growth. It's your favourite YouTuber, guys. Dami Solara, I talk about stock market investments, property investments, financial management too, giving you guys that consistent content, you know? Before you guys can go about doing whatever you're going to do for the rest of the day, save me, like, subscribe and share people. DS Learning Finance. Whoa. Bye, guys. Whoa. Ah.